Hey YouTube, so we're gonna make a video of how to mount your mirror back on because it fell off. So this is my stepmom, say hi Lou. Hello, hi. hi. She's gonna be my assistant today, we're gonna help, okay? So, do you wanna do it or do you want to record? Your choice. Uh, we can record it. You're gonna record it? Yes. Or do you want to do the job? I want, oh no, I wanna do the job. You wanna do the job, okay. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do, before you open that, here's what's gonna happen, okay? So this is the button here, or the uh, mirror that came out, and this is the button that comes out of it, okay? As you can see here, this comes out. In order to get it out, this is a spring right here. There's a little catch right here. So in order to get it out, what you need to do is you need to actually lift it up a little and then slide it. So again, lift it up this way a little and then slide it because it gets caught behind this little lip right here. See that? So you need to take a screwdriver, pry it up, and then come out. These are just a spring and the spring will release, okay? So what we've done is we've already cleaned the old glue off, okay, of this. We took some sandpaper. I actually used a grinder and grinded this because the rougher it is, the better it will glue, okay? Then this is the windshield up over here, and we've already cleaned that off, and we've marked it. You mark it on the outside of the window with a, like, grease pencil or crayon, something like that, on the outside of the window. We've cleaned and prepped this, okay, so it's thoroughly cleaned. I used some Windex and got all the grease and everything off of it, and it's ready to go. So everything's sanded, cleaned, painted, ready to go. This tape is going to just be there to help hold it in place, okay? So, Lou, the first thing you want to do with this kit, okay, and this is a kit that we got uh, by this company over here. All right, there you go. So, and it has a whole list of instructions, good instructions, okay? So we've prepped everything ready to go for this video. So now what I want you to do is go ahead and open that foil, go ahead and pull it, and you cannot touch it. See that green towel? Good. Yeah. Don't touch. Okay, so now open this corner over here. Don't leave that there and open this there corner down here. Oh. There you go, don't drop it. Good, okay. hold, now hold it, pinch it in the back. Okay. Pinch in the back, good. Now. Hold on, okay. Okay, now clean your windshield inside. Okay, and this clean is a primer. One? Yep. And just wipe it around quickly. Just wipe it. They're all the way around. Circles. There you oh, go. Yeah, I'm not gonna remove that. Oh my god! That's Why okay. am I trying to avoid that? Okay, good. Okay. Now, do the same thing here. Do the same thing there. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We're done. We're ready to go. Okay. okay. Now you cannot touch this. Now get your glue out. Good. We've already just pop it sideways. Just pull it off. Good. We've already opened it and pierced it. Ready for the video. Okay. Now okay. one drop right in the middle. Perfect, that's it. Okay, now recap it. Now, we've already marked which way is up. Okay, so we already know. So now you're gonna take this here and you're gonna press it and hold it right on. Okay, go ahead. Remember, don't touch anything. All right. All right, go ahead. Press and hold, okay? Good, now press and hold. Now press okay. firm. You pressing firm? Yes. Good. All right, so you want to hold it kind of firm now. For one minute. For one minute. All right. So this is going to be a boring minute, but that's okay. We'll make some fun. Here, I'll tell you what. How about we tickle my mom? Tickle, tickle. No, I'm not going to do that. That'd be heck of mean. So, hey, I'll let you know what. She's holding that. This over here, we are working on, a, what is this, a Ford Explorer? What year is this? 2005. It's a 2005 Ford Explorer is what we're working on. And it is a, uh, an XLT, I guess it is. CRSC, I don't know, Advanced Tech. So that's what we're working on today. But most of these work the same. Keep holding there. So I'll show you the kit over here that we're actually working on. So this is what you get. You get it from most um, automotive stores. So, so there you go. So she's holding it. And remember, this is a part A and a part B. It's like a two-part epoxy. So you have to make sure you apply it. I find it works better if this is still wet. When you apply this, I find it works better. Okay, so it's been about a minute now. Gently release. Good. So now what we're going to do is going to tape it in place so that way it doesn't slide or move or the heat of the day won't do anything to it. Yeah. So, because now we have to let it sit oh for a while. Gosh, yeah. Okay. So now it says that you want to let it sit for a half an hour. So while we're doing that, now we can clean the grease off the front. Okay. So let me go get those cleaners. Actually, you know, you don't even need it. We, because we use a, grease, a wax pencil, so we don't even need it. So this will wipe right off. So you can see there. So now I'm just gonna wipe this goo off. But if you use something like a Sharpie, the kit also comes with these alcohol pads. So that way you can clean off the Sharpie or anything else with a felt tip marker. Cause this says use a felt tip marker. So the other thing is, while we're waiting for that, 
uh, this instructions over here, and I'll kind of show you how this works so you can see. Okay, it tells you several different things. Um, number one is it tells you that metal piece that's over there that we just got done cleaning, it's called a button. All right, this will not work if it has a plastic button, it has to have a metal, it's designed for metal on glass. So you can read through the instructions and it tells you all the details, or you can pause the video and read it yourself. And I'll show you the second half of the instructions so you can see that in case you wanna pause it and read it yourself, okay? So, there you go. So what we have to do now, as it says down over here, is that we have to wait um, 30 minutes prior to mounting the mirror. I'm gonna probably give it a little bit longer than that. So, but when we're done with it, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna set it back on that button, hook up all your wires, and problem will be solved. Now, I've used this many times before, and I've always found with these over here that uh, it only lasts for about a year. Well, it's not bad. Uh, a year's not bad. I don't know how they mount them inside the factory to where they last for so long. Um, I've been a mechanic for 25 years. I've used this kit many, many times. I find it lasts anywhere from six months to a year, depending on how much you adjust it. If you put it on, you don't touch it, you can get two years out of it. But if you're always adjusting it for multiple different drivers, it just, it pops off after a while. So uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's another $6 kit. It only takes five minutes to do the repair and 30 minutes to let it sit. So don't worry about it. It's fairly easy, okay? The only way to fix it permanently is you get a new windshield that's it's been put on with industrial grade materials in the factory. I think when the glass is still hot is my best guess. I don't know exactly how they make it stick permanently. So anyways, uh, that's the, the vehicle. Uh, this is the video and I hope it helps. And thank you for your hard work. And as you can see, she's never done the repair before and she can do it. It's not complicated. Don't be afraid of it. It's not hard, okay? Good luck, take care YouTube. Oh, wow.